Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So as you can tell by the background, I'm in my kitchen today. So welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to be doing a different kind of video for you guys. It's going to be really exciting and really fun for you guys to watch. I'm sure you guys will love it because you guys must love food. And you all love my food snaps. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you'll know how much food I post and how much I cook and all the pictures I share on Instagram. You guys know, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will leave um, my username in the description bar below. So check that out and follow me and join the Snapchat family, join the Instagram family, and you'll get to see more of me there. Anyway, um, this video is basically me showing you guys how to make a halal English breakfast which is something really delicious and easy to make. I wanted to show you guys how to make it anyway because why not? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, let me know if you do so I can make these videos more... Let me know if you guys enjoy it so I can make these videos more regularly and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go into the video. Also, bear in mind the lighting is going to be really crazy because the sun's coming in and out. Um, yeah, but apart from that, the video should be great, so let's get on with it. I have some of my ingredients here. I'm going to be using just some chopped up onions, uh, peppers and I've got coriander here. I've got some tomatoes there and I've got my sausages and I've got some eggs. So first things first, take our eggs and crack it into a bowl or whatever you want to crack it onto. Right. Okay, so we've cracked our eggs and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some salt and black pepper to it. I'm just gonna estimate this. I'm just gonna take some salt here so I don't add too much and just sprinkle it on and just see really eyeball it basically and I'm just going to give that a good old um, mix the hash browns will take about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven so I've decided to pop them in the oven before I make the eggs yeah my eggs my peppers that I showed you and some onions cook my eggs I'm gonna use some coconut oil because of all the many health benefits you guys I'm sure already know about it's nothing new so I'm gonna use maybe half a teaspoon and then I'm just gonna let that melt while that's melting I'm just gonna move the pan around so it coats the whole pan evenly what I'm gonna do now is take my mixed peppers and onions and just pop them in Okay, so this heat is really low, so I'm gonna pop it onto the back one. So I'm gonna add a little bit more coconut oil because I feel like um, it could be a bit oilier. I don't know, it's just a bit dry. So I'm just gonna stir this a little bit until it gets a little bit soft. So I'm gonna let it cook for maybe two minutes. You don't wanna let this sit, you wanna keep stirring. And as you can see, it's becoming a little bit brown, which is just what you want. And right about now, I'm going to um, turn the heat off because this is how I want it to be cooked. You can see the onions have been sautéed and this is just how cooked I want it. Um, I basically check how the onions are cooked. If the onions are cooked, then that's when I stop because I don't want my peppers to be too soft and soggy. I want it to have a bit of crunch in them. So what I'm going to do now is actually put this mixture back to where it came from, which is this little tub. Put it on, this time you want to make it like medium low heat, you don't want to burn your eggs, which is what we're making. Take some more of that coconut oil and dash them onto here. So what I'm going to do now is get my egg and pop it into the pan. And when you see the sides bubbling like that, what you want to do is basically just grab it and then do that and tilt the pan well, whatever it is that you're cooking with slowly so the egg can get to that. So this is how you make your perfect omelette. 
okay this is what I do right so you get the idea when the edges become that color just tilt it and you want to do this on low heat because you don't want to burn your eggs the last thing you want to do is have burnt eggs and then what I'm going to do is take some of this mixture and just drop it on top Tilt it over, can you see that? Then just slide it back. Okay, so now that you've removed your eggs from your pan, you don't need to put any oil in it whatsoever because the bacon we're using, yes, bacon, but it's halal bacon, so it's all good, has a lot of oil and fat in it. So there it is. Just gonna open that up. I've got my heat on medium high. So I've got my strips here. So you cook that until it becomes brown and golden underneath and then just repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so I've turned them once and uh, as you can see they're golden brown and they're still bubbling and sizzling. Can you see all of that oil on top of it? I've not added any oil so you don't need to add anything. Uh, now I'm going to take it off and just put it on a plate with some tissue on it. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to do for the last final step, finally. Pop it right back on there. Good stuff, like you can never get enough, okay? So coconut oil in there, and I'm gonna make my sausages now. And just fry them basically. You don't need to add too much, like you don't need to deep fry them. Um, you can do them in a healthy way, sort of. So try that, it's better for you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pop my sausages on one by one. And it's on low heat, by the way, in case you're wondering until they're nicely browned and golden then I'll show you guys what that looks like I'm so excited to eat this guys how long is the process of making English breakfast so long but it's so worth it so delicious um, yeah so as you can see the eggs are made it's not usually your English breakfast kind of eggs but I just like omelette with like vegetables in it I think it just tastes so much better but everybody has their own preferences make your eggs the way you like them and now I'm just waiting on my sausages. Put them back in the oven because I just like them more golden than this and I don't know, I like everything like burnt. Okay guys, so I've been flipping them slowly so if they get golden brown until they're all pretty much the same colour. on high heat I'm just gonna take some black pepper and salt and season them I've got my coffee right here coffee tastes amazing okay so here's what the delicious food looks like and I'm about to pour some um, beans right on top there you go. okay guys so I have my plate of food right here and I'm about to tuck in so, yeah. Do you know what? Whenever I watch cooking videos and people don't try the food, that really annoys me. Try the damn food, okay? Because that's the whole important bit, okay? smell that right now can you smell that okay guys so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you have then give it a good thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see more videos like this and if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen of mine then be sure to subscribe somewhere here so you can get a notification every time i upload a new video and that's great because you get to watch my video first right so if you do recreate this uh, dish then be sure to tag me on Instagram at Beauty the Boutique so I can see all of your beautiful creations and yeah or snap me anything works anyway so that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one inshallah bye